What's up with YouTube? Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Whether you are new here or not, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video. If you watched my last video, then you know that I did have my baby a little bit earlier than expected. And I was completely unprepared and Honestly, I was hoping I got turned around, but I ended up not getting turned around. I ended up getting admitted and delivering a baby. If you haven't watched that video already, then make sure you go look at it. But, um, yeah, me and uh, my boyfriend, we had to do some last-minute packing and stuff like that. And I still had to end up asking my sister to bring me some stuff. And thank the Lord the hospital provided basically everything we needed it's not everything i wanted or you know what i'm saying so um in this video first of all i would like to give a disclaimer i do not have on a shirt this is i look, look. i feel like that's the first lesson that i've learned of motherhood is the less clothes, the better. Especially when the postpartum. Nobody tell you about these cramps that hit you as your uterus is shrinking back up. And with me breastfeeding, it's even worse. So, yeah, I'm not worried about what I got on. And that's if I even have the energy to put something on or if I feel like feeling that compression because I don't like the tight stuff around my stomach I don't and so the less clothes the better this is basically going to be me prepping in the way that I would have done if I had time to before this piece of joy right here that's my baby y'all I'm just going to be doing a lot of nesting and some packing because uh, even though we're going to be at home, I still want to pack this diaper bag. And honestly, I might just pack this diaper bag and leave it up here so it's just easily accessible over here by the mirror. And I'm going to just tell y'all what I would put in my hospital bag and pay, maybe show you if I have it on me. But I used a lot of the hospital stuff. As y'all can see, I was completely unprepared for postpartum because um, my doctor was telling me that she was like, girl, you ain't, you still ain't dilated. You might got a wow before, you know, you have them. And even Shaquille was telling me, like, you know, it's going to be a minute. And a lot of people was telling me that I'm going to be late. And most people is, they, most people are past due on their first. So I was so convinced and hoping that I was. But I was actually like two days two days early so but we're gonna get prepared for something that's already happened in this video basically just to help y'all out and because i need to get it done anyway so yeah whenever i can as i can we're just gonna be going through and doing everything most of it is not gonna be talking most of it is gonna be me sitting up the camera and just showing y'all what i'm doing and just keep on watching. A claps. <laughs> Collecting my specimens down. 
Basically, I put the little cover on his snuggle me. He's been using it from time to time, but I also made a caddy. Um, he has his pampers, his changing stuff, his, and then I got the refrigerator to my, I mean the remote to my air conditioner, and I had an extra set of clothes which he got on now, just in case in the middle of the night he have an accident. 
petroleum jelly. He got circumcised. This nipple cream. A pair of socks. Some um, breast massagers. They need charging. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's in there. And I always keep me a bottle of water through the night. And um, I also just kind of string up. But I didn't get none of that because the camera had cut off from no storage while I was folding clothes and I didn't even know. <laughs> so, sorry for the air conditioner, but he's all wrapped up in this thick blanket and I wanted to make sure he didn't get too hot. And he's just like the cutest little thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's what's in there. I just got some, uh, this some Stella water, which I'm using water wipes. I went over this before. I'm using water wipes, which is in here. These are also water wipes, just by Pampers Pure. It's aqua pure. It's like their water wipes. But um, since it's just water, mostly water, it's kind of hard to really clean. So I just use this, spray it on one of those. After, I, after I'm like done wiping him and stuff, I sp spray this on one of those and rub it in and then just go over it just to make sure that it's completely clean. And I also have um, in here some passies, which I don't even plan on using passies. Only time I want to use a passy is when like, cause I noticed that with him, um, like when this is when he baby, when they cry sometimes, uh, p parents are quick to give him a passy and they'll accept the passy when really they're hungry because babies don't come out the room with one passy. So when they're crying, so when they're crying, they need something. So right now, he either needs a pamper change or he's hungry, and nine times out of ten, he's hungry. And that's it, y'all. So, I mean, what's the point of giving him passy when he's hungry? Only time I plan on using a passy is if, like, I'm in a bind mind and I can't really feed him. But I don't plan on using those. I got his nose plunger. And I also... I would have this in there, but since I only have one, it goes from this to this. And since we're not going nowhere, it's there in the caddy. But they did, I just keep that on me to um, make sure when I change it that I can put that on his stuff. And he also has an extra fit up in here. Okay, some boo boos. And I have a whole bunch of pampers. And I also have my Nana B cooling pack, which I might not be using for a while because he's not even taking a bottle right now. But as for right now, that's the only thing that I got in his diaper bag. I really don't need toys just yet because he don't play with them. But when I do start going places and he's around the age where he's going to want a toy or something to keep him up and busy. I have these little small wooden toys that I will also throw in there and to play with. That's for his diaper bag. As for postpartum care. You literally don't need nothing. The hospital provides everything. I didn't go in there with no postpartum care. Only thing I had was some clothes. That's the only thing you need to bring is a change of clothes and any hygiene products you want, such as face wash, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, shower stuff, you know, just like that everyday hygiene. That's the only thing that you need to bring. I'm sorry, y'all. It's uncomfortable when I sit because I have stitches. <laughs> So, but yeah, um, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't need no postpartum. Uh, for him, I like, this is what I brought. I brought some clothes, the diapers, the wipes, and the other stuff. And I also brought some skincare that they use, but you don't need that. You really don't need nothing for the baby because the hospital literally provides everything that you need. But I also brought his own skincare and I brought my lactation stuff. So I have these liquid gold from Legendary Milk and then I have these pink stored lactation, total lactation um, things. And then I have these sweets. And then I also have some tea. 
that I brought and that's the only postpartum care that you would want to bring this extra stuff like this and some clothes with the hospital garage and everything else. Um, they got the Perry bottle. I know a lot of people talk about that, but they got all of that. And I know the Friday baby one goes up, so it's a little bit more easier to clean up there. But um, it was so last minute, y'all. Don't don't sweat it if you don't don't have it. Like the one from the hospital is not that bad. It's been cleaning me very well. I haven't been having super a super hard time getting up in there. All I gotta do is lean back lean forward and I'm coming like it's not a, it's not as challenging as people make it seem it's definitely not worth going to buy a whole another Perry bottle when I can get that one for free <laughs> but um yeah you really don't need much care for the hospital because they have everything but um if you just want uh, a little bit more personable experience for you or the baby then that's when you want to bring all that extra stuff like the skincare and peri bottle stuff like that that's when you want to do that but as far as basic needs they got you they're prepared for you to walk in there with nothing in your hand okay so don't sweat it if you don't have too much stuff just make sure you have it when you leave they will send you off with everything you need for the baby and a few extra pads but other than that Make sure you got your stuff together at home, but when you go to the hospital, you good. He's hungry, y'all. My breasts are full. That's how I know when it's about the time. But that's really it. Um, I hope y'all did enjoy the little clip of me nesting. And then just me briefly going over that with the bag and the postpartum care. I hope the video was motivational for you to clean up. I hope it was informational. So y'all know what to bring to the hospital, what you really need. Because these videos will be like, oh, you need this, you need that, you need that. No, you don't. No, you don't. I ain't even got no um, postpartum underwear, y'all. I just bought me some big old maxi pads. And that's it. And brought the Perry bottle home from the hospital. And I get that Perry bottle and I put the maxi pads in a regular pair of panties and I'm good. You don't need too much. <laughs> Don't let these YouTube videos fool you. You don't need too much. But um, that's basically what I would have done to just prepare for my labor. Is just packing his bag, packing my bag, and just making sure everything is clean and put up and organized. So when I came home, I could really just chill and not feel crappy about it. You know what I'm saying? Because trying to do that first coming home it was pretty challenging but you know I my, my boyfriend he came uh, whenever he got off at the end of the day and that was literally the only time I had to do all my cleaning which with me y'all laying in the bed all day and I know I got stuff to do it bothers me even when I know I can't it bothers me so this way like all the cleaning done it just eases my mind that i can relax and not have to worry about stuff getting all out of order but yeah if you like this video if it was helpful then make sure you let me know in the comments leave some constructive criticism make sure you leave this emoji down in the comments and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for some more content because I'm not taking no maternity leave breaks or nothing out of the videos that are coming. I got y'all, okay? We're gonna keep this thing going, okay? So, yeah. Thank you for watching. God bless.